What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I'm preparing my home for my baby girl's arrival. But before getting into today's video, if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification button so that you will never miss an upload every Sunday at 5 p.m. And also, if you would like to support my channel, then please feel free to join the ad gang by participating in watching the ads which are displayed on my channel as this really helps me out. Okay, so let's get into it. So in today's video, I am just about two weeks away from meeting and welcoming my baby girl home and I'm in super nesting mode. For those who aren't aware of what it means to be nesting, it's simply a term used for when expectant mothers have this natural urge to want to clean everything in their home before bringing their newborn into their living space. Now, this won't be the typical clean with me type of video that you would see on YouTube as this video is more of a prepare with me as I'm nesting type of video where I'm sharing with you how I'm getting specific areas in my home sorted for my baby girl's arrival. So with no further ado, let's prepare my home. The first place in my home which will be getting my main attention is my bedroom as this is where I will be spending most of my time with baby girl after coming home from the hospital. Although she won't be touching any of these things here, I just feel the need to get everything cleaned up. I want the place to be spotless, so I'm dusting and wiping everything. I am also getting rid of all my old bedding, so out with the old pillows, duvet, sheets, everything. Because we couldn't get rid of the mattress as such last minute, we opted for a mattress protector for now. But to be honest, our mattress isn't that old. I just wanted new everything, so I guess it's a keeper. <laughs>
and to complete the bedroom, baby girl's own bed. Now I chose a cold sleeper cot bed because I have learned my lesson good and well to not share my bed with my babies because it's hard to get them out of it as they get older. Next, let's move to the bathroom as this will be another place baby girl will be frequenting for bath time. Now we purchased this angel care baby bath support when we were expecting Noah and I loved it so much that I decided to keep it ever since. And surprise surprise, it came in handy. But he has been sitting here collecting dust ever since Noah outgrew it so it's time for it to be cleaned. Once I was happy with the outcome, I left it to dry, then stored it in a plastic bag and packed it away in the wardrobe until it is time to be used. Moving on, I'm just throwing some of these new baby clothes into the washing machine to get them extra fresh. Then store them away for baby girl. Another out with the old in with the new goes to this travel system which held us down during Jaden's and Noah's baby and toddler years. Baby girl definitely needs a brand spanking new travel system, which I truly love.
And finally, as the living room will be another area frequented, baby girl has her very own snuggleness for relaxing on the sofa with the family. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next time, guys, we will be right back here with another video.